Hello. Hi, friends. It's been a while since I've been on live after my 30-day journey that I shared with all you guys. And I wanted to, um, yeah, there's something new that's coming through for me to share, for me to talk about. And it's edgy. It's pretty edgy. And it's even a little bit scary for me, right, to be sharing this with you guys. It's when I was doing the 30 days living as, you know, source, you are not a person. This is an extension of that in a way. And during that, I kind of had mentioned, you know, oh gosh, you know, things in the appearance or the illusion in my life have been really funky and really weird, um, which is true. And one of those things, one of those uh, appearances that had been really funky and really weird um, is something I'm going to share with you guys today. I've been an entrepreneur for like practically my whole life. I was just remembering, well, I mean, I always remember this, but remembering today that when I was 10, I had my very first store in my basement. It was called TJ's Playhouse. Tara, my best friend at the time, Jamie, we had a store and we sold like rocks and we sold Coke and not cocaine, but like cans of, of Coke and we sold pinups of um, like Kirk Cameron and you know, we just, it was crazy. So I've always been an entrepreneur and having been in this world for so many years, you hear all the time people come, come to you with their success stories, entrepreneurs like I, um, hey guys, <laughs> Like I, you know, I'm, I'm a millionaire right now and I have my next, you know, my house on the beach and my business and everything's great and I'm super successful. And, you know, I filed bankruptcy a year ago or I filed bankruptcy three times. I mean, you always hear stories of people that have filed bankruptcy, but then they always and only talk about it after when they're successful again. So I wanted to share with you guys, I have just decided to file bankruptcy. And I know you might be like, why would she be sharing this? Or that's not a good thing. Actually, it totally is. It is so amazing. The first time I thought about it a couple months ago, it sort of dropped in, the idea dropped in. And I thought, oh my God, that's so exciting. That's, and that's when we're living from the place of knowingness and intuition. It may not make sense on the outside. Our mind may go, wait, no, that's not good. We have all these labels around bankruptcy, right? Especially because it's money. And it's like, oh, if you're filing bankruptcy, you failed, there, you've done something wrong, it's bad, you're not responsible, you know, you're not being like the good girl, you can't run a business, like all these things, all these stories come up, the mind, the ego wants to say all these things. And when I sink into my actual intuition or knowingness, it was like, mm -mm, nope, this is the absolute most exciting thing that can happen in this moment. And it's freaking awesome. It has been, as soon as I decided, made that decision, it has so many amazing, beautiful things have happened. And that's not even, you know, that's not even, it's not even important. The important thing is, is I didn't ask, I didn't make a pros and cons list. I just said, yep, this feels like the next best step for me. Because energetically, like that, holding all of that, like debt was heavy and it's old. And so many transformations are happening in my life that it couldn't sustain where I'm going and who I am now cannot sustain that. So the only thing, the only measure for me, if I'm being successful or not, is am I living my calling? And whatever decisions I make in my life, will it help me to serve my calling? The answer is either yes or no. And so for me, I filtered this bankrupt, the bankruptcy thing through it, and it was a hell yes. This is going to help me serve my calling, living from my calling. I don't care what it looks like out there. I don't care what the appearance is. Things can seem to totally fall apart. And the only thing that I'm interested in is am I living from my calling, which means am I aligned with source? Am I identified with the person and the thoughts about what it looks like to other people? Or am I honoring the calling? There's a huge distinction here. So I wanna do a series, I don't know what this is gonna look like, this is kind of just my first little live about it, but the spirituality of bankruptcy, because there's so much bullshit around money for people. It is the heaviest thing in our society. It is the deepest, darkest root, and I'm not saying that money's bad. It's nothing, it's energy. It has no meaning. Bankruptcy has no meaning. Nothing does until you give it meaning. So I wanna bring the light out. I wanna bring the light in this like, the system that so many of us humans are trapped in 
It's this prison that we think, and how many, if you think just about yourself and how many decisions you have made or not made based on money, and if you thought you could afford it, or if the money was there, or the thought about maybe money won't be there, all of these things. So this is really just a symptom. This, the bankruptcy, it's not, it's not even about money, but it's, it's our doorway into exploring what is the actual truth? What's the truth about money? What's the truth about anything? And it's, and it's really just what you say it is, right? So I want to share with you as I go through the process of bankruptcy, the gifts, the, um, the lessons, you know, all the things that are happening, you know, for me in my life, if you have questions, I'm happy to share. This is, you guys, this is not some taboo thing that, you know, I don't want anybody to be like, oh, I'm so sorry, or oh, she's sharing that. That's so weird and crazy and awkward. No, it's, I want to bring it out into the light because it is not any of those things. It simply just is. And it is the next best step for me to help you, to serve you and your calling. And I, that's the only reason I'm sharing it. It's not, has nothing to do with vanity or attention or, oh my gosh, I, I definitely sat and thought, okay, is this actually something that if I share this, it's going to be beneficial for people? And the answer was over and over, yes, 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 yes. So let's get it out there and, you know, ask yourself, what are you afraid to share? Maybe not on Facebook Live, but what are you afraid to share with even one person? Because you feel shame or guilt or some meaning around it. That's just not truth. And how else can you look at it? Okay, guys, so spirituality bankruptcy, stay tuned. It's an exciting time. It's super fun. I'm super excited. If you have any questions, just, you know, hit me up, message me, comment. And I'm happy to, uh, to answer you. Okay, remember, guys, I'm going to say this every time. You are an infinite being, not a human being, and I love you. And I'll see you next time. Aloha.